try it again. <laughs> this is number four or fifth time I'm trying to make this video. I don't know, is that important to make such a video? No. But uh, I am just in the mood of doing some blah blah blah. to get distracted. The moving water. So this is our little town mountain view and uh, there is a shoreline park and in this shoreline park there are some aquatic activity sailing or something look at that and just as I came in I saw one guy cleaning the boat and uh, he was so concentrated and focused in doing his job and just seeing somebody take the time do a thing and uh, do it and do it with heart and soul with with focus with uh, full attention it is a very very beautiful thing I am very easily distracted and there are songs everywhere makes me unable to focus I am sorry maybe I just wait until the distraction goes away for example the airplane when there is an airplane we do not need to talk and we talk when there is no airplane because uh, when you have a message you want to spread and there is distraction you cannot get your message across you cannot get your message across you cannot get your message through because there is distraction and uh, even if you made all your efforts to speak it out it cannot be it cannot reach to the other end and um, the result is the same as you did not talk we do something has a purpose and if we understand the purpose of that thing, it makes our life and it makes our action so much more meaningful. As a teacher, my job has a purpose. And uh, I want to teach, I need to teach, and I am doing all I can do my best and make my best effort to teach. I have done the things that leave me no room to regret. However, how much I can teach, I can control. But how much student get it, is beyond my control. Sometimes people do not listen to us. Maybe because we do not have the charm to attract people to listen to us. Maybe because they have a stronger opinion and do not want to listen to us. 
it's beyond our control. That is the responsibility of the second part, of the counterpart, the responsibility beyond our control. If they do not learn, we help them to learn. If they decide not to learn, we cannot force them to learn. I think this is my principle. No matter, no matter, no matter how important my job is, my how important my job is to teach you, how much you learn is beyond my control. Someone chooses not to learn. It's their problem. It's not my problem. I think sometimes when you think about it, when you think it in a more objective, subjective way, you can make your life so much easier. We made our effort to live a good life and uh, we want everybody to live a good life, but someone choose not to live a good life. They choose to be lost. We guide them. They do not listen. They choose to be lost. Oh, they are having fun. And... Um, it's beyond us. We cannot help. They choose not to learn. Maybe we are too narrow into this learn or not to learn. I remember there was one time, and there is always this time, what is your dream? We are, our students are asked, the question, what is your dream, what is your, your hope, what is your expectation, what do you want, what do you want to do in your life? This can be a good question to ask students, this can be not a good question to ask students. If their life is only only this narrow life, go to school, go back home, then there's not much fun to talk about. And also, people choose to connect with us or not to connect with us. Even we spend our day our days and days and days and years trying to connect with uh, with people, with students. They may choose not to connect with us. Do I make sense? They choose to think that uh, School is not fun. And I think it's uh, nothing wrong with it. If school is fun, school should be fun, but school sometimes, learning is a hard thing. What can we do? Many things if you can find the piece. I do not understand and uh, 
and some things that I understand but I do not have the courage to express. But I think I have the courage to tell you that I want to keep it to myself as a private thought to myself. Not everything we understand and uh, it's okay and we live our life try to understand day by day better and better if we do not understand there is a purpose of our life that is to understand it, to spend our time, spend our life, to think and to do things to understand the world better. If we understand everything, there will be no fun, no curiosity. Be good, be kind, always be good, be kind. It makes you pretty, it makes you look good. Do not talk loud, do not uh, non-stoppingly talking, excessively talking. It makes you look not good, not good, not good. I remember one time my student told me, before 25 years old, Everything we do for a person who is younger than 25 years, the society, the family, the education system, we are trying to teach children how to talk after 20 years, 5 years old. When we grow up, all we want to do is to let people learn not to talk. Do I make sense? art, make art, do love, do beautiful things, do nice things. Be the best of yourself. Life is, uh, life is unpredictable. We are living today and uh, we savor today. We live today to the fullest. When there is sunshine, sit under the sunshine. When there is time, We stop and think and enjoy this time. When there is fun, we do fun things. When there is good food, we eat good food. When there is good tea, we drink good tea. When there is good coffee, we drink good coffee. We go get the best things in our life because life is unpredictable. We live today. We live today. Today is a good day. This is a beautiful day. 
water flowing, duck swimming, and the sail sailing, and people are talking. It's a wonderful day.